Hi everyone, my name is Peyton and in this video I want to go over world align materials. So what a world align material is, is something that is basically set up uh, like UV wise to the uh, world coordinates. And so no matter what uh, like object or anything that is placed on, it's going to basically have the same exact uh, basically tiling rate and we'll be able to see it kind of tile across. What that can be really useful for is if you have something, let's say like this mound, and then we have the snow here, uh, but if both of these were the same material um, and we were trying to get the UVs perfectly and them actually to lined up where the, let's say the stones were uh, basically just like seamlessly and flawlessly crossing over to that mound. Um, that way it's like, it feels really integrated. Uh, then we could basically have that. So right now you can see that I could probably mess around with UVs and all and try to get as close as possible. But the, the stones themselves still wouldn't actually necessarily line up perfectly. It would just take a lot of time. So uh, what's nice about this is uh, we can go over to my material. So this is my just simple cobblestone here. And what I want to do is we have the, uh, the base color, uh, roughness, normal, and immune occlusion all set up. And these are just using texture samples and then using the texture coordinate to uh, like tile them a certain amount through the UVs. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in world aligned and we should find world aligned texture. And um, there's also world aligned normal. So we'll see that one in a second, but I want to do the world align texture first. And basically I'm going to set that one up here and then I'm just going to duplicate it over, um, plug it in here and then plug it in here. Uh, now what I was mentioning a second ago was the world align normal. And that's what I'm going to want to use with my world align normal as well, uh, or with my normal. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to grab that one. It's a little bit more unique, but uh, yeah, there we go. And then the, the main point that we're gonna wanna do is uh, these are the X, Y, the Z, and the X, Y, Z. Um, basically for me at least with what I'm doing for the ground and all, I wanna use the X, Y, and Z uh, to set it up. That way it is uh, doing it on all axes. So if you have a mound like this, it's not gonna be weird uh, where it's kinda like flat on top or the UV is just, yeah. It, it basically is that way it can curve around a side of so um, whether it's facing up or sideways and it'll be the same so going to bring this one across as well and then drag this one there so now what we want over here one problem that we're gonna find is that this will not go in and the reason why it says uh, float 3 is not compatible with the texture 2D. Uh, and that's because what we need to do is we actually need to right click this and convert to a texture object. Um, so I'm going to do that for all of these. I'm going to basically convert all of them to a uh, texture object. Now we can plug it in to the texture space here. So there we go. And... Cool, so now we can see that the uh, cobblestone is being tiled um, over here in our little preview. I can hit save and right now I haven't plugged anything else in and we can see how it looks actually in our scene. So there we go. And already what you can see is with my um, material, uh, if I'm moving it, so no matter if I scale it down or anything else, the cobblestone is aligning perfectly uh, to that that edge there. So I'm gonna come down here real quick, and yeah, you can basically see how how seamless it is. It's really nice. Um, let me go to actually maybe lighting only. So yeah, we can see where the the seam is there, and then I switch over here. We don't really see it. And that's because of the actual. Um, yeah, materials, UVs are perfectly lining up. And what's really nice about this, like I was saying, is that you could have stuff where, let's say we have dirt, but we wanted to have some like uh, mounds of dirt slightly being put in. Um, I could use a mound like this and basically like place it around 
and move it, scale it however I want. Um, and you're basically able to not be super destructive. Uh, you don't have to worry about the UVs of your mesh and you can really quickly like start to have some more organic forms. And uh, it's just really nice because yeah, it, it saves a lot of hassle with trying to get that set up properly. So now what I wanna do is I want to actually jump over uh, to my texture again. So here we go. And then I want to actually set up a, a couple of stuff. Uh, mainly I wanna set up the, the tiling amount. So we have the texture size. So I'm going to do a value like this. Um, I just clicked one basically to create this. And then I'm gonna plug that into texture size. Now you'll notice if I hover over, the default value is 64. Um, previously, my texture coordinate amount was 1.5. So uh, it is a much different tiling uh, that is basically happening. And so you do need to factor that in when you start to set up this number. So if I start with a 64, uh, what we should find is that it looks the exact same as how it does currently. So there we go. I'm going to convert this to a parameter and I'm going to do tiling amount. And so now you'll see that if I hit save, um, we're going to do basically 128 and there we go. And then, uh, you know, up to 256. So I'm just basically doing it in multiples. Um, there we go as well. So it's instead of just doing like 64 to 65, it's it's going to be a lot more drastic of the the actual tiling amount. Um, and so really uh, factor that in when you start to go and tile and everything, um, because this will definitely play into it. Uh, now, if you're trying to do some displacement or anything using the the modeling editor, uh, the tiling amount will be pretty different and it might be hard to actually uh, line correctly uh, just because uh, that's using UV coordinate like UV or tiling amount and this is using the world uh, like tiling amount um, so yeah, it yeah might be a little bit tougher uh, but at least like if you are doing something like the the dirt kind of what I was mentioning before where you wanted to make some mounds uh, this can be like a useful way of uh, setting that up and then basically getting some you know, tiling textures in uh, here where they're seamlessly going. And so I think this is something that would probably, of course, work better uh, with the snow uh, that we had going on uh, to where you could actually start to see some more of those mounds. But um, yeah, let me actually grab that real quick and just run through uh, setting up the snow. That way we can see, yeah, pretty much the, the final here we go, and the snow is basically over here. So, cool. Um, yeah, I wanted to just jump back over here, and then I'm gonna find this. I'm going to change it to the snow base color. This one's going to be the snow roughness. Doesn't take too long to change this over, um, snow ground normal. And then this one's of course our, yeah, ambient occlusion. So, uh, of course my snow too was a little bit different with the, the tiling amount. Um, so that might be a factor, but let's say that, that is good. It looks all right. Um, but those mounds that I was talking about where they should be in here. Okay, yeah, they're a little bit small, um, but you can see that pretty seamlessly. Let me make it much bigger real quick. I was using the cobblestones because the snow is a little hard to see, but um, the nice thing is like you don't see any harsh transitions, um, which is something you would definitely get with snow uh, in this situation if you had like a, a weird line and the, the lighting's feeling pretty nice as well. Um, my collision's a little broken on that mound, but you can, uh, yeah, the transitions are pretty nice. So there we go. 
Um, but yeah, that's basically world aligned materials and textures inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, it can be really helpful for specific situations. I wouldn't suggest actually using it uh, across the board with mostly materials because uh, there's a lot of pros and cons to it. But um, I think in general, like something like this, it would be great for uh, to actually get some some really nice just uh, ability to uh, control where mounds are and everything without having to really make sure your UV, your UVs are working properly. Uh, so yeah, that's about it for this one. Um, if you have any questions, of course, feel free to comment below and I will see you next time.